So, Nigel, what's the history behind the demo unit that we're going to see in a minute? Ah, well, in 1993, when we first brought Prototrack in, they asked me how many systems we'd sell in the first year, and I took a stab and said 12. Anyway, we started to market the product, and uh, in the first three months, we'd sold the square root of diddly squat. And so what we did is we decided that perhaps we should show people what a wonderful control it was, and so we bought a demonstration unit. And we went out onto people's premises and sat in their offices and showed them how easy it was to program. And in the first three months, I told you we'd sold none. In the next 15 months, we went on to sell 406. Now, that wasn't just us being wonderful salesmen. That was a case of customers buying Prototrack and saying, wow, we need another one of these and another one of these. So we probably did a couple of hundred demos and sold all them systems. And obviously, some people didn't buy. But um, we found that the demo unit is the best way of selling Prototrack. So does every one of your salesmen carry one of these demo units around? Every one of them. And I encourage them to get that demo unit out as often as they can. All right, on that point, I'm going to go and meet with Steve and he's going to give us a quick demo. So thanks, Nigel. You're very welcome. So, Steve, this is a control unit, the Prototrack SMX for, for your milling, the XYZ milling machines. Yep. Just talk me through very quickly what you would do on a customer's site for a demo. Okay, we, we carry these units in our boots because we, we use them regularly, take them into a customer's, connect them to the power, and then they say, right, can you show me what you do, how you program uh, this particular job? Let's do a part then. Okay. Generally, a customer will get his pad and pen out and say, right, I, I, my job I want to do is a straight line with an arc, with a straight line, and just blend that in. Okay. So he'd draw probably 80 millimetres with a rad of 30 and probably a little 6 mil radius in here. Okay. So I'm going to take this drawing now and program it into the machine. So we go into the beginning. This is a pocket, which we press pocket, and it's an irregular pocket. It asks us where we're going to begin, which will be in this corner here. So we're at zero and zero. We want a one mil finishing cut, 5,000 RPM. Finish RPM of 5,000. Feed rate of 200 millimeters. Finish feed rate of the same, and we're using tool one. Then we're going to mill this line. So we're not moving in X, which is zero, but we're moving up 80 millimeters in Y. And that gives us an OK. And to prove that we've done it correctly, we're in the right direction, we press the look button. Then we're going to page forward and we're going to do the arc of 30 millimeters. So we press arc. Is it tangential? Number one is yes. Which direction? Clockwise is number one. Where are we going to end? We don't know that tangent point, so we're going to guess. In X, it's going to be uh, less than 50, uh, 60, so we're going to do 50 millimeters and we're going to guess that it's going to be around 50. So we can guess at 50. The center we know is 30 in X and 80 in Y. Uh, we don't need a corner radius, but we do know by going data forward that the radius is 30. And that's enough. We'll page forward to mill the straight line, which is a mill. One is tangential. We're going to end at zero, zero. It's all gone okay, and it's filled in the dimensions that we didn't know. Uh, and I'm also going to put a corner radius of six millimeters. And to prove that that is exactly what we wanted, we have the drawing of the job. So that's your finished part already? The finished, finished part is uh, programmed in two minutes. And then if we want to see how we actually machine it, we're going to set up, we verify the part, okay, and we say make that part, you get a 3D graphical image, and then if I slow it down a little bit and verify the part, you will see it come in and machine the part. So that literally took the time that we've been sitting here for you to program a reasonably simple part, but to get the right result. It, it's a simple part for Prototrack. It's a difficult part for a manual machine to actually find those intersections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you do a demo in front of a customer with this unit, how, how confident are you that you then go on to get an order? It must give you a lot of 
confidence. I see it in the eyes of the customers when they go, wow, is it that easy? Yeah. Is it that simple? And their heads are going, I can save so much money doing it this way. Brilliant. And this is the same for turning as well because you've got the SLX for the lathes. Yep. Yeah, as easy as this. Very informative. Thanks, Steve. Pleasure.